Make-A-Wish Connecticut is on a mission to <laughs> grant 225 wishes this year alone. In the past, they've gotten a lot of help, a lot of great partnerships. One of them is with Johnson & Brunetti, who is uh, partnered with Make-A-Wish Connecticut to grant 12 wishes so far. And the idea, many more could be coming thanks to a new golf tournament that you can be a part of. Speaking of, if your wish was to play TPC River Highlands in Cromwell, where they have the Travelers Championship, you can have your wish granted if you're a big part of this. Joining me now is uh, Kim Smith, uh, the director of uh, uh, corporate and community giving for Make-A-Wish Connecticut. And of course, Joel Johnson, one of the partners of Johnson Brunetti. Good to see you both. Great to see you again. Good to, to see you here. And glad to have you both here to talk about what a great partnership this has been between Make-A-Wish Connecticut and Johnson Brunetti. Why don't you just talk about how it's gone so far? Well, we're really excited to always be involved in Make-A-Wish. We've granted 12 wishes now, so for the last about eight, ten years we've been involved with Make-A-Wish. What a great organization. Um, you know, the, the, the feeling we get when we're yeah. able to reach out on an individual basis. I mean, we're very involved in other charities, but on an individual basis to grant a wish to one child, to get to know that person, to yes. see the joy on their face, it's just fantastic. And we're happy that we've been able to cover some of these wishes. I mean, we've, we've got some pictures and video that we can show you. Uh, but before we get too, too far, the tournament itself. This is uh, the first ever uh, Johnson & Brunetti Golf, golf First ever right? Johnson Brunetti Golf Tournament, uh, May 15th at mm -hmm. TPC in Cromwell. Um, we still have some open spots, and it's a great course to play if you're a golfer. <laughs> yeah. I'm not much of a golfer, but if you're a golfer, it's a great place to play. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you want to do it? Now, we're looking at Madison. This is a 16-year-old Madison from West Hartford. She beat uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. She had a desire to be a pilot, so what do you do at Make-A-Wish? You took her over to Brainerd Airport. She got to sit in the cockpit of a personal plane. She got uh, some lessons on a a really cool looking flight simulator. Just one of the things that brings a smile to so many people's faces. It must be so rewarding, Kim, to do the job that you and everybody at Make-A-Wish does. It truly is. Um, we're in the business of giving hope, right? So when Madison's going through a really difficult time, knowing that she has this incredible wish to yeah. look forward to, to help her fight the fight, it just kind of anchors her in, and she's just super excited to be able to have that to look forward to. You told me right before we went on air, the goal is 225 wishes just this year. That was amazing to me. What goes into making each one of these wishes, just in terms of the time and especially the money that's needed? Absolutely. With the average cost of a wish being 10,000, there's so many details uh, mm. that come into. Each wish is unique to that child's dream of what they're looking to do. So we can't do it without special friends like Johnson Brunetti yeah. being able to be creative and engaging the community like through the golf tournament to help make these wishes happen. Yeah. And how has the partnership with uh, Johnson and Brunetti been uh, from your end? They have been incredible because they're all about community and that's what Make-A-Wish is all about. We started out with a young boy um, that was looking forward to a wish and was going through a really hard time. And yeah. It was the community that jumped in and that's what Johnson Brunetti does for us all the time, that they hear about these wishes and they're all in and that's where this golf tournament came up. They're like, we want to help grant more wishes this year. What can we do? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's talk more about this tournament and the, uh, the last minute that we have. Once again, it's May 15th, TPC River Highlands. How many more spots are still available? For We've got about 15 more spots. So okay. anybody that wants to play, it's an amazing course. Any golfer knows that it's an amazing <laughs> course, right? Yes. It is the course where the championship is, uh, the Travelers Championship is every year, and you, you can't just get down and play. So yeah. we want folks to come on. It'll be a great time raising money for an awesome cause, mm -hmm. which is Make-A-Wish. And uh, I can't imagine a better better way to spend no. a day. Yeah, let me tell you, I've gotten lucky to play at one time and just being able to play the 18th hole with that natural amphitheater right there, just imagining you're there winning the Travelers Championship. It is well worth it, and I can't imagine a better reason to go pay some money, help a great cause like Make-A-Wish Connecticut, uh, courtesy of uh, Johnson Brunetti. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to be here again. A Tim. pleasure, and great to highlight the work that uh, Make-A-Wish so Connecticut is doing. It is fantastic.